And when they actually told me I'd had a stroke, I, for some reason, I thought I could go home. I don't know why I wasn't really registering what it really meant. But the first time I realised that I couldn't do anything with my hand mm. was the next morning when I had breakfast. And then it really hit me. I couldn't lift a spoon up. Yeah, I, I couldn't walk very well and I kept on bumping into things. And I couldn't see very well either. It was then I burst out crying because I suddenly realised and I said, how am I going to go to back to school? I panicked because I thought, what's going to happen now to the children in my class? How are they going to get the learning? There were so many things that happened to me that I wanted to see whether other people had the same experiences. On the first meeting, one of our um, group, he told us about his situation and it was so sad. I felt really helpless and I said to him, I, I wish I could help you. When he was telling his story, I was tearful. Yeah. And Catherine noticed that and she said to me, talk about what you're feeling. I said, I, I, I seem to be very emotional nowadays. And he said, he's also found the same thing, that since he had a stroke, that's what's happened to him. With the cognitive, um, that was Catherine. Yes. And she made us really think in the mood group. She really made us think about um, strategies that we could have small targets that we could achieve. So each week we, we thought of something we'd like to try. And one of mine was going to the post box and posting crossing two roads. Well, you know, and you know, when you achieve that, when you have that goal in your mind, you work towards it gradually. Um, it really makes you feel that you're getting, you're getting yourself back. It really helps you build up your um, muscles to help you, you know, raise your arm, bend your legs and balance. And that was really good fun, actually. He encourages us and he makes us laugh. And because he's doing the exercise himself, we sort of laugh when he can't do as well as he should yeah. do. But, yeah. you know, I think I really look forward to those sessions. The thing about Enroll was that also we didn't have to travel anywhere. If you're suffering from fatigue, it's literally, you're going to get there and fall asleep. Because I had the support of Enroll, my daughter could be sort of have a rest in a way and mm. not have to worry about me. We've had all the therapy and so we know each other quite well, really well. Mm. And so we have a laugh, we ask each other how we are and we're always very positive and encouraging each other and making yeah. fun of each other. It's helped me to regain who I am in essence. Basically, I've, I've sort of got myself back. And the fact that I've gone back to work, um, that's been huge. Enrol's been the driving force for me going back to work. I've gone back to work without Enrol, basically, literally. Mm -hmm.